<laughs> Where are my tipsy tea drinkers at? Do you like having an adult beverage every now and then? Cocktails made at home? Okay, listen up because we have some fabulous mixes for you. So if you're looking in the catalog, page 36 starts our Sangria collection. Then you're gonna flip the page and it's gonna go right into our cocktail mixer collection. Okay, of these, I'm just gonna share with you really quickly today, three of my absolute favorites, okay? So first off, who likes sangria? Do you like grabbing that bottle of wine, throwing in some fruit, mixing it up, and having a lighter um, cocktail for you and your girlfriends? This one is my favorite, but we have a whole bunch more. Blackberry sangria fruit tea, you guys. You can mix this right into your tea canters uh, with your other fruits, real blackberries, um, or what other, other fruits you wanna use. Of course, if you're using a different mix, use something else um, and mix it in with your wine and water. So to make a sangria, it's super easy. You put the tea in first with just a little bit of hot water um, on the base of your tea canter, uh, brew it for about 10 or so minutes, and then cool it down before you add your wine. So add some ice, a layer of ice to cool that down. You could put your fruit in next, dump your bottle of wine in, and then top it up um, with however much water else you need. The tea canter will hold two bottles of wine though, so just FYI on that. Um, and then there you go. You let it sit for four hours before you're, um, before you're entertaining. And then you have a nice, beautiful sangria mixed with our beautiful sangria fruit teas. Okay. Another thing I absolutely love, Moscow mules. Okay. Do you know why they're named that? So it's actually an American drink. Funny. Um, they named it Moscow because they used vodka, and so they were associating Moscow with Russia, right? And vodka. So they call it Moscow, and the mule part is actually the ginger beer, or the kick uh, to the drink. So Moscow mule is vodka ginger beer. Um, and then ours is blackberry flavored again. Love blackberry. Um, but this is so delicious. I've made traditional Moscow mules with this. It is so yummy. It's also an oolong base. You're getting all those benefits. This is delicious. And then you don't have to use ginger beer if that's too much of a cake. You can also use like ginger ale for it as well. Okay, another one is, speaking of our beautiful um, Sipology glasses, which by the way, these are Sipology glasses, if you can see that name there. Um, I actually earn these. So as a Sipologist, we get um, little incentives, little challenges. So if we have you know, a certain amount of sales or sponsors or whatever, um, we can earn really cool swag like this. So I earn those um, and I've, I've got a bunch of different stuff that I've earned. So it's, it's really, really fun. <laughs> okay, so to put in there, and now this one's almost gone as well. This is another fruit tea, strawberry limeade. This makes such a good margarita, you guys. So if you like margaritas, definitely grab the strawberry limeade and mix in a little tequila, and there you go. You have a perfect um, tea-inspired margarita. Blend it or not, it's up to you. Um, you can use salt or sugar rims, up to you, but this makes such a good blend. So I hope that um, explains a little bit about our tipsy teas. Have fun with them. That's the main point. It's just to have fun and create new recipes with things that you like. One time I made a cookie dough puer chocolate uh, drink in this cup, layered it with some Hershey syrup, put a little creamer in there, um, some puer and some whipped vodka. It was delicious, you guys. So get creative and let us know what sort of drinks you like.